I'm Sydney Palacios Lawher with CUCougars.com, and this is the Cougar Press Pass. Fall legs are in full swing as our football team took the field in Rockford on Saturday where they fell short, but not without a fight. Senior DeAndre Daniels grabbed the only touchdown of the day for the Cougars, while the defense was able to force two fumbles with the help of junior Julian Ramirez and freshman Lenny Woods. The Cougars look to bring the action home on Saturday for the homecoming game against WLC with kickoff starting at 215. For their first season back on the court, the women's tennis team celebrated their three seniors, Emily Cyrus, Natalie Jensen, and Jacqueline Rocha, on Saturday where they fell to both CU Dub and WLC. With a quick turnaround, they headed up to Edgewood College on Sunday, where they closed out their season with a final record of 2-7 and seven overall and 2-6 and six in the NAC. Coming off a home win against Rockford, the women's soccer team used that momentum in their fight against Marion, though ultimately falling 2-3 in the final minutes. Sophomore midfielder Itzel Calderon provided a spark for the Cougars by grabbing both goals on the day. This Cougar team heads back up north as they take on Alverno on Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. before playing their senior day game on Sunday at noon against WLC. Following the women's match, the men's team took on the field at Marion and extended their win streak even further as they took down the Sabres 4-0. Four Cougars grabbed goals with Dominic Christensen, Julian Yenez, and Herman Tinoco grabbing their first goals of the season as freshman Garrett Pointer grabbed his fourth on the season. They'll be hitting the road today to take on Moody Bible at 4 p.m. before coming home on Saturday to take on WLC at 11 a.m. for their senior day. On the court, the women's volleyball team took their talents up north to play Marion on Friday, where they fell short in five sets. Junior Joy Greco put up a career-high 17 kills, while Alyssa Henlein grabbed a season-high 21 digs. With a quick turnaround, the Cougars took on new conference mate St. Norbert, where they fell 3-0. The Cougars are back in action tonight at home as they take on Lake Forest at 7 p.m. and then celebrate their senior night on Friday at 7 p.m. against MSOE after the homecoming pep rally. Coverage for all our teams can be found at cucougars.com slash coverage. My name is Cindy Palacios Laher with cucougars.com and this has been the Cougar Press Pass.